Yeah, and it's much smaller than the the arsenal on the planet, which is uh, almost 9,000, 10,000. So yeah, that's yeah. obviously if everything is used, uh, that's that's the end of everything. And of course, you can ask, you know, I mean, the excuse people have for having nuclear weapons is it uh, is a deterrent to keep people from attacking them. You know, you can argue whether this deterrent works or not. I mean, for example, in Ukraine now, you know, Putin keeps claiming he's going to attack us with nuclear weapons, you know, which has not prevented Europe and the United States from helping the Ukrainians repel the Russian invasion. So it hasn't actually worked. But on the other hand, we haven't sent troops into the Ukraine to help them. So you could argue, well, it has provided some deterrent there. Um, the United States certainly are not going to invade Russia, which probably would start a nuclear war. Um, and the, you know, the other argument about this is, well, accidents happen. We've come very close to a nuclear war in the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, yeah, we've come very close to a nuclear war several other times. There's the main the main issue here is about short warning times. So it takes 20 or 30 minutes from a missile to get from Russia to the United States. Um, so if our early warning systems say, oh, the Russians have launched their missiles, the American president has 20 or 30 minutes to wake up. He's in the middle of sleeping or something like that and find out that, oh, he has to decide if he's going to end Western civilization because he thinks there's been a Russian missile launch. You know, does he believe the early warnings? You know, and that's the danger of these uh, whistle missiles that are sitting on the ground. If you don't launch them, you're going to lose them. Rush submarines, you know, probably they don't know where they are. So you don't have to launch those missiles. But the ones in the ground, are, that's a very great danger. And so both Russia and the United States have had cases where they thought the other side had launched their missiles. In one case, it certainly went up to Boris Yeltsin, and you know he was smart enough to decide not to launch his missiles and uh, to think the warning was wrong. And there have been several other cases where there were detections of missile launches that were um, ignored by people at lower levels. And, thought that there was probably incorrect, but that's very dangerous. And we're in a bad situation right this minute because both Russia and the United States are modernizing their arsenals, which is a violation of their treaties. And Russia in particular is trying to get to shorter and shorter warning times. Um, they have uh, tried to develop a nuclear powered cruise missile, which would just fly around in the atmosphere constantly. And if they suddenly decided to attack you, they'd push a button and all of a sudden they'd attack you. Um, they have uh, things that certainly do exist, which are um, torpedoes, they call them, which are very large vessels that are submersible drones. And um, they're going to put very big weapons on them and they would just sail them into the harbors around the world and potentially blackmail people. Oh, I just... Um, they tried to do this with Britain. They said, oh, well, we're just going to put one of our tornadoes torpedoes um, on the western coast of uh, Britain and blow it up and spread radiation all over Britain if you don't stop um, arming Ukraine. Uh, and you can imagine them saying, oh, well, we just put them in uh, every harbor in uh, Europe and every harbor in the United States. We're going to blow them all up if you don't do whatever we say. Um, you know, So that's very dangerous. And another very dangerous thing happening is as you make the sh warning times really short, there's going to be a temptation for the military to decide that they have to allow artificial intelligence to determine if there's been uh, a missile launch and uh, whether they should respond. So I don't know about you, but <laughs> my computer doesn't work that well. You know, millions of people use Macintosh computers, and I still can't get a Zoom meeting going all the time you know, without it failing somewhere. Uh, I don't want artificial intelligence deciding for me if there's going to be a nuclear war. Uh, and that's where we're headed in the near future, is uh, having artificial intelligence making this decision for us, because these weapons are so sophisticated that uh, people can't control them. They don't have the ability to control them. You can even see this with Ukraine. The Ukrainians are being attacked by hypersonic missiles from Russia, which have such a short travel time. It's very difficult for them to detect them and uh, shoot them down. And, you know, so they're going to have to turn to some very rapid decision-making system, which is probably an artificial intelligence thing. So they, oh, I've just taken the launch. I'm going to go attack it. 
you know, that's just a very dangerous path to go down. You know, and we don't know. Artificial intelligence may turn out to not be that stupid. It may decide it doesn't like us and it's going to get rid of us on purpose. 